Hi everyone, in this video we're looking at actually connecting simple interest and compound interest. So um, in another video we looked at simple interest and this one we're actually going to look at how the, the two formulas are connected and um, how you can make your life easier by using the compound interest formula. All right. Okay, kind of invests $8,000 at 8% for three years with the interest paid at the end of each year. So this bit of information here is kind of important to us because we're only working out each year. Oh, hey, pen's been a bit funny. Um, the usual invest 800, 8,000. 8, so see language like that, invest, means that we know that that's the, going to be the principal. Um, 8% per annum, that kind of tells us it's an interest rate and three years in length. So you can kind of tell because like there's other clues that are going on. There's a percentage, that's a rate um, uh, per annum. That gives us, a, uh, that's what a rate is, like the change of something over uh, another thing. Um, and three years is the unit of time. So we can use that information. Um, and then what we need to do is calculate simple interest each year. So your I is what we're looking for. Uh, little i is 8% per annum which is also the same as, oh, oi. no, it's not, 0, 0.8 per annum. Don't be like that. That's 80%. That's a huge amount of interest. But the N is not three years. It's the end of each year. So there's one N. So using your formula, I equals P, I, N. And substituting in, make it a big I. With a little hat and tails on. It's fancy. Uh, 8,000. So substituting in those values. And if just in the future, I only do this because I'm kind of guiding and modeling both substitution things. You'll notice that I'm, I do that without having to like verbalize it. And it's just because I know that that information is there and I just plug will substitute each one of those values in for my variables. And I equals uh, $640. So, so I've filled those in because it's saying at the end of each year. So each time we do simple interest, it's 640, 640, 640. So, and then that total is going to be um, three times those 640s. So we just add them together. It gives us a total of, oh, um, and we're going to add also the um, principal to it as well. So that is going to be 1920 plus uh, your 8,000 gives us a grand total of $9,920. Ooh, $20. All right, compound interest right here. So the difference between simple interest and just like uh, collecting interest at the end of each year is that compound means that the interest goes back into the loan or goes so we're going to do the first one so first year actually i'm going to do this in a different color because it's going to be a bit easier to see and i don't know why you decided to there we go so first year interest first year our interest is going to be i equals p is your 8000 times uh, 0.08 times 1 and that's your 640 so that's just, but now we're going to reinvest that amount of money back in a new principle for the second year so uh, second year P equals your initial plus 640 and our new principal is 8,640. Uh, okay, and then you would do your second, I'm just going to call it I. Okay, so second year interest equals PIN. Uh, you can do this because I'm running out of space. Uh, 8,640 is my new principal. 
Uh, but the interest rate is still the same and the year is still the same and that gives us a new value of uh, 691 oh. 691 and 20 cents again struggling there so our the amount of compound interest generated is 691 and 20 cents so uh, the third year principal is going to be our initial amount from the second year 8,600 and from this year uh, from that second year as well so 691.2 and then we use we're gonna oh, and that gives us a total value of uh, 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 nine thousand three hundred and thirty one dollars and twenty cents and then our third year interest equals PIN using our new principle nine thousand three hundred and thirty one two um, but still the same interest rate and length of the loan value of 1000 so our interest is $746.49 so at the end of the third year oh, that goes there uh, 746.49 we're going to add the interest that we've generated to the existing principal of the third year and that gives us our magic ten thousand dollars and seventy cents and uh, seven, oh, seventy. Oh, it'd be sixty-nine because I was um, okay. So that then gives us the total, and we can see then the significance of um, what happens when you compound interest. You actually start to make a bit more money and if you do that enough times it's um, you end up with a really big significant difference between compound and simple interest these early years it's not so um, easy to see so it's because it's being um, the money's being reinvested or re like the interest being compounded like you're paying interest on the interest that you're paying previously um, because of the formula that we have this one here, it has exponential growth. That is the reason why it does have this curve um, relationship. So your compound interest formula is this one here. Um, and it can be used instead of doing all of this. So remember big like if we continue doing this over and over again, we're bound to make a mistake. I, I know I made one when I was doing it for this video, uh, and it's just what it is so um, to reduce the amount of errors we use one simple formula and that's this formula so I and N and P are still the same it's just a different way um, just note that you are looking for the amount so if you were to do this problem with that formula you get this whole amount here you don't get like the amount of interest if you wanted to find how much interest so um, these yeah if you wanted to find out how much interest was generated um, during the length of the loan then you would um, take that away from your um, amount at the end of the, um, the investment period or the loan period and subtract your principal to find your compound interest that you've generated so using uh, an example here we have Will has money to invest $40,000 to invest there's our P at an interest rate of 9% for five years and the interest is compounded annually. Find the compound interest earned on his investment. So we're looking for that compound interest. So the first thing you start off with is identifying your variables. Uh, I don't know what my A is. I don't know what my compound interest is. But I do know my P is 14,000. My little I is 9% 
per annum, which is 0 0.9 oh, per annum. And my times are, is five years. I write out my formula, A equals P bracket 1L I to the power of N. Your amount is not knowing, so you substitute that in. 14,001 plus 0.09 to the power of N, which is five years. So, while I'm low, do some maths, and the value is going to be, so use your calculator, put your brackets in, uh, $3 and 14 cents. So that is the um, interest plus the principal. So we want to find the compound interest earned. So CI equals A minus P. The amount was $1,733.14. And P is your principal or your initial investment. And so C equals uh, $3,033.14. So that is how you would calculate those. Be careful, read the question carefully. It just might ask you how much the amount is. So there's your two formulas. Just be um, aware of how to use them appropriately. So here's your questions. Don't forget to pause, fill them in, um, complete them in your maths or exercise book. Otherwise, alternatively, complete them on um, maths online. All right. Stay awesome, everyone. Thanks for your time. Bye.